Today this scripture has been fulfilled in your hearing. All spoke well of him and were amazed at the gracious words that came from his mouth. Let's imagine we are um, going for a Mass, Sunday Mass really. Uh, let's imagine we are at Corpus Christi Church. And then all of a sudden you hear at the back, back of the church there's some rumbling noise. People talking to each other and the noise gets bigger and bigger. So I turn around and I look. As soon as he comes closer, you realize all of a sudden it's Jesus Christ himself. And, and, and you're happy that he's here. He walks to the front of the church. He gives us a smile as he walks by. Then he opens, he opens the Bible and he starts reading this verse. He has sent me to proclaim release to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to let the oppressed go free, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. Those who hear this, the scripture has been fulfilled. And, and at this point, we're all really happy. Today is the best day ever. And then as soon as, as soon as all of this commotion is happening in the church, he just claps and tries to get our attention, you know, because obviously we're all happy. Uh, we're thinking about our problems. Then he says to us, I have two things to tell you. you know, one's a good news and one's a bad news. Which one do you guys want to hear? We always say, uh, the good news first, please. You know, and, and Jesus says to us, all of your problems are all going to go away. You know, your sufferings are going to go away. And then somebody in the congregation lifts their hands and says, uh, you said there was a bad news as well. That was a joke, wasn't it? And Jesus turns around and says, no, that wasn't a joke. That's actually true. Uh, all of these things that I told you earlier are not for you. They are for other people, right? And as soon as we hear that, the first thing that comes to us is we get really angry. It's sort of like he, he kind of gives us something and then he, he right out took it back away from us, right? So everybody is kind of angry, upset. And Jesus at this time, uh, he tries to say that it's always God's will that happens, you know? The whole idea is, it's all about others. It's not always about you. Uh, do we sacrifice our own desires and strive to be a part of Jesus? Are we here for ourselves? Or are we truly here to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor, when everyone will see the love of the Lord? What is your choice?